This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com Okay, welcome Rabbi Isai. As we prepare for the Haftarah of Parshas Kisavai, which is known as the Nechama Vav, the penultimate uh, Nechama, the second to last Nechama before Rosh Hashanah, uh, that begins, Kumi Oiri, arise, your, your light has arisen. But the end of the Parsha, the end of the Haftarah, concludes with the Pasuk in Yeshaya, Parak Samach, Pasuk Chavbez, Hakata in Yelo Elef, Behatzoir, Lagoyatsum, Ani Hashem, Beita Achishena. Okay, I am God, Beita Achishena. In its time, I will hasten it. And the Gemara, the Gemara in Sanhedrin discusses, well, does Mashiach come in its time or is it hasten? And the Gemara says, Zacha Beita. Excuse me, loy zacha beita. If you're not zacha, it will come in its right time. Otherwise, it could be hastened. The Ben Eshchai in his commentary to the Avtoira has a very interesting uh, perush on these words, beita achishana. And the Ben Eshchai in the Berchus Chaim says as follows. The Medrash tells us that there's one particular word in Chumash that refers to the mitzvah of teshuva. And that is the word ata. In fact, the Medr says that when God spoke to Adam Arisha and he offered him the opportunity to do tshuva. And that's indicated by the fact that after Adam ate from the Yitzhadas, Hashem said, Vi'ata pen yishlach yodoi, uh, And now, maybe he'll stretch forth his arm and eat from the Yitzhachayim. And the Medr derives from there that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave Adam Arisha the opportunity to do tshuva. Like the Medr says, where do we see tshuva is indicated in the word vi'ata? And the Pasuk, V'yato Yisrael Ma Hashem Lekecha Shoyel Mei Imach. Okay. So now here it says, Ani Hashem Bi'ita Achishana. The Gemara Numa says on Daf Pevav, the Gemara Asestira in the statements of Reish Lakish. In one place, Reish Lakish says, G'day Lechuva, says, Shazadoinois Nasus Loi Keshkagois. Shenemar, Shuva Yisrael Ad Hashem Lekecha, Ki Kashalta, it says Avain, which indicates Mezin, then it says um, Kishlain, which indicates Shoigeg. And Rish Lakish says that uh, if you do Tshuva, a Zadain becomes a Shoigeg. And the Gemara says Tira, because Rish Lakish said elsewhere, G'day la Tshuva, Shezadoinois, Nasis Loi, Kizchuyois. That Tshuva is great, that Averos turn into Mitzvahis. And the Gemara says Loi Kasha, Kan Ba'oisin Me'ava, Kan Ba'oisin Me'ura. It depends if you do Tshuva, out of love or tshuva out of fear. If you do tshuva out of fear, then the avera is downgraded into a shoigeg. If you do tshuva out of love, then the avera is downgraded, uh, is, is actually elevated into a mitzvah. So the Ben Eshchai says, V'yadu'a she'eshte madregas, madregos tshuva. There are two levels of tshuva. Achas nikres tshuva miyura, where zadon becomes like shoigeg, and one is called tshuva me'ava, where the Zadon becomes like Kizchuyos. And the Farshim say we need both. First you have to do Tshuva Meira, and then you could reach the level of Tshuva Me'ava. This is what it means. Ani Hashem Bi'ita, Be'ez Ata. Two Atas. We said Ata refers to Tshuva. There are two kinds of Tshuva that are referred to as Ata. Achishana. <coughs> that it's Achishana, it is I Hashem who assists you to do Tshuva. I'm the one who will inspire you to do Tshuva. Like it says, Yasa Adam Tshuva Vizkaperloi. And God's arm is opened up to accept the, those who repent. All Rebun Shem asks of us is that we take the initiative. But Tshuva is something that only God could advise. As the Yushalmi says, that they asked the, the wise people, what should be in the fate of someone who does an Avera? And the wise people said the person should die. And they asked the prophets, what should be the fate of someone who does an Avera? And the prophets say the person should die. And they asked the Torah, what should be the fate of someone who doesn't have air? And the Torah says, maybe he could bring a carbon. And they asked God, what should be the fate of someone who doesn't have air? And God says, let him do tshuva. So we see that tshuva is, in a, uh, is counsel that only God could give. And there are two kinds of tshuva. Be'ez ata. Ani Hashem, it is I, God. Be'ez ata, who could suggest the two types of tshuva, achishena, and I will assist you in that, in that vein. Or the Ben Ishchai learns as follows. There are, in our history, in our collective history, five redemptions. Number one, 
the redemption from Egypt, followed by the redemption of the four exiles from Galas Bavel, Madai, Yavan, and Edom. So there are five redemptions. The fifth redemption will be the Gula from Galas Edom. By the way, every Kaddish has to have a minimum of five Amens. Yiskadel, what about it? Okay, um, for those who say that, don't, does it, we don't count that one. Okay? Um, anyway, can I have a sitter? You should still say Amen, but we don't count that one. Um, that's number two. Number three. Amen. I guess we have to go to Kaddish Shalim. Yeah? Don't say yes on her, because that's only going to get you four. Okay. Then, Tiskabel, Sulay Sain, Vusan, the Chobay, Sakan, Mashav, and Ramein. Yesham Ram, Shmar, Hamel, and Mashav, and Ramein. Oh, it's a Shalom. So then we're not counting the Yeshme Rabba. What can I tell you? You know? So, so the. the so the Benish Chai says that we say five Amains. There are five Chiyuvim of Amain. Why? Because since the Chazal tell us. Pischu Sha'arem Viyavai Goit Sadik Shoimer Emunim and Chazal Darshan, that you should say Amen, and Amen is Masugo for the Geula. Therefore, we say Ani Hashem Be'es Hey. In the fifth time, fifth time meaning number one, Mitzrayim, number two, Bavel, number three, Yavan, number four, Ed, number four, Paras, number three, Yavan, number four, and Edom, number five. So Be'es Hey at the fifth time, Achishana. Then I will hasten the Geula. So these are two pshatim and two jerushim on the word be'ita, either the two types of tshuva, or, in other words, either be'ez ata or be'ez he achishana. Okay, Rabbi Isai, that is the haftorah of Parshas Kisavai. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.